What's up guys, it's currently Wednesday morning and I figured this week might be an interesting one to make a small vlog and see how that fares out there online because tomorrow I'm moving. Now I'm currently living in sort of student accommodation type thing but they're renovating the entire place so tomorrow I get the keys to, to a new block and I'll be moving in there and it's like newly renovated so that should be quite nice. And yeah, well currently it is uh, quite messy here, I've got quite a few things to sort. So um, so yeah, yesterday I slowly started a bit of packing, so most of like big chunks of clothes are sorted, but still a lot of small itty bitty things, I've got a few computers to take with me, lots of training equipment, that type of thing. But without any further ado, let's get this vlog started. Now, as you guys can see, here I've got myself a 3D printer. I haven't had it for too long. I got it around, I wanna say September, October time last year. So I've had it for just about half a year now. And yeah, super fun. I'm working a bit on improving my design skills. I'm starting from absolute scratch using Fusion 360. I'm dabbling a bit into that. I find that to be quite quite cool to look into. I was quite interested in 3D printers a while ago as well, but they always seem so expensive. So when I had a friend now here at uni tell me that you can get one for as little as like $300 or pounds or like, you know, there about that type of range I figured it was it was too good to pass by so I, I got myself on and you know started printing a bit if you guys want to see some videos related to 3d printing or more so the technical side of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis let me know but without further ado let's get to work I've just done some work now this morning. It's currently getting brighter outside, a bit of light, which is nice. And uh, yeah, the uh, print is still buzzing away. Slowly, slowly getting a bit more done. The flower pot or sort of seedling cup is uh, nicely being made. A few moments later. Okay, seems like some error must have occurred. Anyway. I have a bus to catch in about 10 minutes if I want to get to the climbing gym on time, so to speak. Have quite a busy schedule today, quite a few things I want to get done, so let's stay on top of it. Baby, hit it. Okay, so I took the bus and got myself down to the climbing gym where I could start today's training session. So it started off with a bit of bench pressing before, as you guys know, moving on to a bit of one-arm pull-up training. I started the one arm pull up training session with a few isometric holds. If you guys haven't seen my video on isometric holds, I highly recommend that you do as it's quite a good one before moving on to a few band assisted pull ups. After that, I went for some auto belaying, so did a few longer routes. As you guys can see here, really fatiguing and you know, pumping out towards the end, but getting in some nice endurance climbing. And then I finished off the training session with some bouldering, solving a few problems before heading back home. There we go, just got back, had a shower, had a shave, made some food and then small YouTube editing session, you know, trying to put out some content for you guys. Oh, and by the way, before that though, whilst I was gone, just as I came home, this thing seems to have finished printing. Whoa, there we go, that's the zoom. So, let's see how it turned out. Okay, seems like some error must have occurred because... Well, it seems a bit short. It was supposed to be a little sort of seedling cup for the, not to necessarily replace the ones from Ikea, but you know, to sort of emulate that. There's plants. So I'm just explaining that the 3D print failed and why I think that is. Skipping past this for now, but if you guys are particularly interested in 3D printing, let me know in the comments down below and I might make a separate video or two about it. Anyways, after this, moving on to a bit of YouTube editing before I now soon have to leave for the Shift Hyperloop meeting. Okay, it's been good, but I need to run Shift Hyperloop. I'll tell you guys more on the voiceover, let's go. Shift Hyperloop is this student organization I'm working for where our goal and the concept we have is to make a Hyperloop. It seems quite obvious. And yeah, I'm part of the Embedded Electronics team, specifically working on battery management system. And yeah, it's, it's quite cool. I get to learn a lot of new stuff. It's quite 
quite hard, not gonna lie, you know, lots of new concepts and that sort of thing. But I enjoy it a lot, I'm learning every day and uh, it's just an awesome group to be around. Okay, it's getting somewhat late and I need to get started or just, you know, wrap up this packing. But to be fair, the clothes, that was the simple part, like the bag I've sorted. Hold up. This one was the easy thing because that's just clothes from the wardrobe in here. Now I've got a bigger thing to do. Okay, now I need to sort out these things. I've got quite a few books, I've got quite a bit of training equipment, but for the training equipment, what I think I'll do, I'll put it into these cardboard boxes. One, and, well, I'll do that a bit later, but I've got a second cardboard box, a few bags and shit, but that's coming later. So, first things first though, this table. The place I'm moving into, I don't think it has any room for me to put anything on the floor. Everything's like bolted and screwed in everywhere, like the bed's in a particular spot, the desk's in a particular spot, like, and everything seems to be filled, so like, there's no chance at all for me to place this. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take it apart right now, I think. Okay, I've just taken the legs off the table and put it over there. I'll show you guys in a second. Sort of sectioning things out. And uh, now I'm gonna just go over my training equipment. Sort of put everything into these cardboard boxes and into the bags I've got and make it sort of as easy as possible to take with me tomorrow. Let's go. So this is the current state of the room, as you guys can see, shelves are pretty much entirely emptied out. Got the desk and there's a drying rack here, got a suitcase of clothes, some other shit that I need to sort, and then PCs, training equipment, books, that type of thing. Still have the main desk and stuff, but I'm not actually bringing this desk or this drawer, I'm bringing this one though. So yeah, looking good, but I think I'm slowly gonna wrap this up and get to bed, as I have quite a bit of an early rise tomorrow. I have quite a full day ahead of me. I'm gonna collect the keys quite early in the morning, and then I've got some Ikea trips, and you know, you know the whole shebang. So yeah, see you in the morning. Stafford!